Okay, let's give you guys some more examples of integration by substitution. So here you're asked to integrate this, but rather than using the textbook's way of doing it, we're just going to guess our way to the answer. Okay, so, um, so visualize this thing here as being one block multiplying with another block. Me asking you to integrate this is the same as me asking you to find something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it will give you this thing here. So, um, so make this to be your initial guess, one notch higher than this. So make this to be your initial guess, 4 minus 2x to the power of 4, one notch higher than this, so that would be minus 10. So now let's try and differentiate this. So when you differentiate this, the negative 10 comes down, negative 10, the bubble stays the same. Um, 4 minus 2x to the power of 4. The power gets minus by 1, so that would be minus 11. And then times the derivative of the bubble itself, which would be um, minus 8x to the power of 3. So now tidy this up. Uh, I'm just going to merge these two together. So that would be um, minus, no, positive um, 80 x to the power of 3 and then the bubble 4 minus 2 x to the power of 4 to the power of, of minus 11 so notice that um, this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here uh, we just don't want this this 80 so we need to negate this 80 to negate this 80 go back to your initial guess and stick 1 over 80 in here so uh, so now when you differentiate this, the 80 disappears, giving you what we were seeking all along. So when you differentiate it, it gives you this, which is the same as this thing here. So the answer to this is, uh, is this, plus C. Okay, so, so here we, we guessed our way to the answer. And notice that, um, notice that um, um, this thing here, Notice that when you differentiate x to the power of 4, it would be something which we don't care about to the power of 3. So notice this this thing here is the derivative of x to the power of 4. So when, when, you, when, you, when you spot that this thing here is the derivative of this thing here, then you know you can, you can guess your way to the answer. You know it's going to be simple. You can just guess your way to the answer. In the future, in the future, you won't get to the power of 3, you would get something like to the power of, I don't know, let's say 7. So in which case, this is no longer the derivative of to the power of 4. So we have to use the textbook's way of doing it. When that, whenever you, you can spot that this thing here is a derivative of this thing here, then you can guess your way to the answer. It's much quicker. Okay, here's another example. So notice that, um, notice that um, this thing here Notice that this thing here is a derivative of this, because when you differentiate um, x squared, it would be 2x. So you've got your x here. We can negate this 2 later on if we want to. Anyway, let's integrate this. So, so me asking you to integrate this is me asking you to find something in such a way that when you differentiate it, it gives you this. Well, make this to be your initial guess. Make this to be your initial guess, minus x squared. So now, when you differentiate this, Imagine this as being a bubble. When you differentiate this, it will be e to the power of the bubble times the derivative of the bubble itself, which will be minus 2x. And uh, when you tidy this thing, thing up, it will then give you this, x e um, minus x squared. And look, what a coincidence. This thing here is exactly the same as this. And notice that... Um, this thing here is a derivative of your x squared. So now, uh, well, this thing here is the same as this thing here. We just don't want this negative 2. So go back to your initial guess and stick a negative 2 in here. Sorry, a negative a half in here. Now, when you differentiate this, you will negate that negative 2. So there. So to integrate this, the answer is um, minus a half e minus x squared plus c. This is your final answer. Okay. Uh, next example. Um, to integrate this, 
visualize this thing here as being one block multiplying with another block because if I give you a fraction and ask you to multiply it gets multiplied to the top so it gives you this thing here well anyway visualize this thing here as being this and notice that um, notice that when you differentiate natural log of x when you differentiate na natural log of x it gives you 1 over x and look what a coincidence this thing here is exactly the same as this thing here so you know it's going to be easy to integrate so let's just guess rather than using the textbook's way of doing it so me asking you to integrate this is the same as me asking you to find something in such a way that when you differentiate it it gives you this thing here well make this to be your initial guess but one notch higher you see what I mean later x squared to the power of sorry natural log of x to the power of 3 so when you differentiate this the 3 comes down 3 natural log of x the power gets minus by 1 and then you times the derivative of the bubble itself which will be 1 over x oh what coincidence this is exactly the same as this so um, so now this thing here is exactly the same as this we just don't want this 3 so go back to your initial guess and uh, stick a third in here so that when you differentiate it it will negate that 3 there so now when you differentiate this it will give you this thing here which is the same as this thing up here so the final answer is a third uh, no, log to the power of 3x plus c. This is your final answer. Okay?